Hey, what's up guys? It's Derek. So I got to install video for you here, but first check out this bobcat that come cruising by me when I was working on this install. I think it was huge. I honestly thought it was olives. That's why I went running out on the road and then olive came running out there with me. So one of the jobs I was dreading on this install was getting these batteries out of here because these batteries are literally 150 pounds. I mean, I weigh like 160 pounds. So it wasn't too bad getting them out of the battery tray, but not only did I have to do that, I had to get them loaded in the truck uh, to be able to take them in and recycle them, which I'd take all the batteries. i take out RVs if the customer don't want some. i take them to O'Reilly's and they gave me 10 bucks for them or something, but uh, it was, they didn't want these ones. So that was a whole nother story in themselves, getting rid of these six heavy batteries out of the truck, but we got her taken care of. Wyoming's always hunting lizards here in Florida. It's her favorite thing to do everywhere. Anything, anything that moves. But let me update you on this country coach real quick. Uh, yeah, lots of hours in on this one already, and we still got quite a bit to do, but I am making progress. Got the batteries tore out. Uh, this is how the batteries are going to be. Uh, two rows of them here. I got to get some steel yet to kind of close that bottom in. Take you inside here real quick, show you the quattro sitting here just waiting to go on their bench. That is the bench that I was building in uh, one of the last shorts I did. Got the auto former hanging, got a couple breaker boxes over there in the corner. Uh, I ripped out the transfer switch, so I just wired in the new uh, surge guard temporarily. That's going to end up underneath also, kind of like this guy is. Got the BMS and the link system there. Uh, I still got to figure out exactly where I'm going to put the solar controllers, but I am getting there. Uh, hopefully I can be turning some things on tomorrow, and then I still got the whole roof to do, but that should only be a day or so. I'm finally getting ready to put the panels in place permanently so you can see I got the rails oh I might change this a little bit then I've done in the past when it wasn't like an entire rack system like mine here's a little more rail but it's definitely good and stout and I, I like what I did a little better even though it was a little more money in rails so so this is what we got got everything all sealed up I ended up keeping this uh, we just moved it to here but I got all the holes filled, little pieces of the turn -a -bon tape, and then to use the turn -a -bon tape right, you gotta go around it with the die cord or some kind of sealant. So, we get all the panels on here, get them all secured, and get them all wired, and the roof will be done finally. Except for an easy start. I got one easy start to do in this air conditioner. I'm gonna just finish putting the solar controllers and stuff on this board. Uh, only thing that was left was floor space, and I didn't want to mount them flat to the floor just because uh, it's hard to get heat to dissipate if they're mounted flat to the floor. So I built this little box, and it, they can be at an angle, so at least some of the heat will come out the back there. You know, this has been fun. I'm like my plan C with this whole battery situation here. Originally, we were going to put them this way. But he was trying to have more batteries than six, so he wanted more than 1,200 amp hours. At 24 volts, that's a lot of batteries already, but it is a big motor home, and, you know, if you got the space for it, why not? So we were going to try to get eight, and then I had to open my mouth and say I could fit ten, but that's really going to be very hard, so I think we're going to try to stay with eight. It just wasn't very easy to mount a fifth cutoff switch back there. If I stuff five of them up there, it's going to be almost impossible to get to those cutoff switches as they are, where if we stay with four and four, you'll be able to slide along the side there and hit them cutoff switches, and really, that's a huge battery bank, so I think he'll be all right. You know? But I bought one kind of sheet metal for here. That didn't work uh, from Home Depot. I just it was too thin and it really wasn't wide enough so then i went and found an actual metal place today and had these cut there's like 175 dollars worth of aluminum there but it is much better they're way stronger so and that's gonna look pretty sweet once i get the rest of the batteries out here hey guys so i'm finally getting this one done got the roof completely done so i got a little cleanup downstairs but i'm gonna try to keep my complaining about how difficult this one too was to a minimum <laughs> I love what I do, but this was the hardest install I've ever done. So anyways, got one 425 here. One there. One up there, and then there's one all the way up front. I'll show you when I get up there. And there's three 220s. One here. One there, and one there. And then there's six of these little hundreds. One, two. Uh, 
three, four, five, and six. Slide under here. Combine your box. So I used rails on this one to get it above the awnings, which I said in a previous video. Put an easy start in this one. And the other two had easy starts already in them. That's why I didn't do those ones. And then I filled a bunch, fixed a bunch of holes, or removed the satellite dish here. Ended up keeping that. I moved it to there. So not too bad. I'm ready to move on to the next one. I'm ready to get my butt out west. Florida's been nice and warm, but we're ready to move on. We've been here much longer than normal. I'll show you guys everything down below. All right, guys, getting ready to get out of here. We try to head back all the way out of this driveway, but grab a quick video since I almost forgot before we left. This one was a job. So we got Victron batteries there. Uh, he's going to add two more. That's what those cables are for. That's why there's four cutoff switches back there. I had to like completely revamp these trays. It was a pretty good job. Show you the inverter bay in here. Hey, in here in the inverter bay. Definitely looks different in here than what it did. Oh, I'm on a time crunch here, guys. So I'm gonna do this quickly. But... That cable back where it belongs. I had to change of programming on an inverter so I had to pull that out but so anyways we got two 24 volt 5000 kV inverters an auto former here uh, and then we got three solar controllers one two and three got a solar disconnect back in here for all three three strings got a converter here which just converters just basically charging the chassis batteries that are feeding all the 12 volt no. Then we got Link's distributor, BMS, and then there's another distributor underneath there. You can kind of kind of see it back in there. No. And then servo, you can see it right there. A little bit of a servo there. No. Take you inside, show you the screen. He's got everything closed up right now because we had moved it out in the sun to make sure everything was working. And I actually ended up finding a cable I had to mess with. But that's why you fully test everything because no matter how good you are, Mistakes can happen. I had a lot of wires on the roof, so you can see we're not getting much solar because it's underneath this covering. But there's a touch 70 I put in there. Oh, that's still got to get screwed. I'm going to go grab a screwdriver and screw that in. Oh, but this is for the EMS. I'll get it stuck on here in just a second. But there's that. This was a fun one, guys. Installed. Well, that does it for this one, guys, but I wanted to jump in here on the end and thank everybody, especially all our customers, for the amazing year we had in 2024. And our YouTube subscribers also, because we hit 1,000 subs, and that was a goal of mine. I wasn't sure if we'd ever make or not, so I appreciate everybody who interacts with us on there. We're super excited for what 2025 has in store for us, all the exciting places we're going to get to go, new people we're going to meet, and all the installs we're going to do along the way, so... I truly love what I do, and no matter what size system I'm doing, big or small, I give the same attention to detail. So I'd love to talk about solar with any of you guys. You can go check out our website, which you can send us an email through there. Don't hesitate to just pick up the phone and call me. I work with all kinds of budgets, so if something on our website doesn't fit your needs or your budget, let's talk about it and let's come up with a plan that does, and we can get you plugged into nature. Catch you guys on the next one.